point for Brony does online it is Brony time and welcome to another reaction. Today we're re reacting to season six episode ten Applejack's Day Off. Excuse me as I move into the proper position. There we go. Rarity's in some sort of sauna. Oh, hey, she's talking. Pruny? How can ponies get pruny? I never seen a pruny horse before. to get here earlier. I just can't believe how much time my chores are taking up these days. At least now we'll finally get to spend some quality spa time together. It's not rarity, is it? Oh, wow. Rarity. I guess I missed the whole day. I sure am sorry. Me too. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, they cut out the intro. Okay. That's good. What are you gonna get? Applejack, actually. Although I'm quite sure she'll be too busy once again. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just that Applejack and I haven't had one of our spa days in ages. You two really should set aside some time. Darling, I have been trying for moons. But Applejack is so busy these days. It's they nice count possible. through moons now, I apparently? Applejack had so much to do. Is she referencing that to months? Like what? <laughs> These things need to be explained. Pies. Apple pies. I don't like pie. I don't suppose those pies are the last chore on the schedule for today. Schedule. She's so British. God dang it. Bull crap, Applejack. Well, it ain't cause I don't wanna, but the work on the farm has just been taking up more and more of my time. I hate seeing you. You know, Applejack, some days you need to take a day off. Oh wait, this is gonna be the entire episode, isn't it? But Granny, Big Mac, and Apple Bloom all have chores of their own. And today they're all busy taking the harvest to market. I know we're not farmers, but I'm sure Spike and I could handle things for a little while. Ooh, this is interesting. Is there one chore we could do? Well, I suppose if you two got started on feeding the pigs, I could maybe leave for an hour? Ooh, an hour of spa perfection? I can work with that. Perfect. You head off to the spa and Spike and I'll take care of things here. <laughs> <laughs> we are doomed. Applejack, you need okay. to. This list pretty much covers everything you need to know to feed the pigs. But uh, maybe I should go over it with you just to. Oh my God! Stop it! If there's a list involved, I am 100% on top of it. Yep. Right. It's freaking Twilight. Things here. Spike and I have totally got this. I mean, it's just feeding the pigs. How hard can it be? Oh, why do you always say that? He just tap her on the butt. Like, touch the spike. Seriously, I'm gonna ask the same question, Ra race ass. Is it okay to just like touch a a the, someone's a pony's ass? Like, touch your friend's ass for so? I don't get it. Okay. Step two. Close the gate. Huh? Mm, that's what it says. Step three. Walk away. Walk away? Are you even reading that right? 
I just hope Twilight and Spike can handle things until I get back. Oh wow. Did she that's your fault, Applejack. That's your fault. Yeah, that's not how TV works. Hey, look, it's Cheerilee and Rainbow Dash. Oh! Oh wow! Come on, Rainbow, you're still a girl. Oh my god. Dang it, now I have to start the annotation counter. Start it! Oh god. Number one. Too bad Rainbow Dash just hates those fru fru spa treatments. Join us for a nice steam. Wait, I can't wait. Indeed. Although if they couldn't fit down again, I wonder just how far behind things are running. Obviously, we're on a very tight schedule. Schedule? Oh my god, schedule. Um... Touchy issue? Well, maybe not every pony is waiting for the steam room. Oh, no, no, that's exactly what we're waiting for. Oh, I hope you're not in a hurry. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, guys do steam rooms, what am I talking about? I just, I'm like, wait, what? Oh wow. I wonder who did this voice. Hey, Bon Bon, and is that La- Wait, who is that? I look like Lyra for a second. That is a problem. Waiting for the steam to build up. Without steam, a steam room's just a room, and I've got. Oh my God! It's spoiled rich. I'm rich, which means I'm entitled to everything. Oh, freak it! Middle class college kids are the same way. I'm not rich, so I deserve special treatment. And now, all the college kids who watch me hate me now. So, if you're not getting enough steam, that must mean there's not enough hot water. Oh, Applejack, honestly, can't we just start with the hot cure? We're going to run out of time! So what? Hmm. It's a busted pipe, isn't it? Either that or someone's taking all the hot steam and stuff. Boiler room! Ponies with modern technology. Now what do we have here? The laundry room, of course. And at this point, I'm considering soaking my hooves in one of the machines, so my time here isn't a total loss. 
The ponies in Vespa prides itself on sanitary conditions, and the fresh linens are integral part. Well, sure, but I cannot roll my R's worth damn. I can't do it. All day, every day. The answer is no. But ponies sure do love this warm towel service. You know, everyone. You know, everyone that works at a spa does isn't French, okay? I don't know, but I am French pony. I do it with the staff. In the <laughs> what am I saying right now? I'm so dot damn tired. I'm sorry if I offend anybody. I'm really tired. Well, like I said, warm towels are a big hit. Big, big hit. I can't roll my eyes. I think I figured out the problem. You've got a small weight, and that means the steam takes just a little longer to build up. And while ponies wait, they get cold. Cold ponies start wrapping themselves in towels, and all those dirty towels have to be cleaned. Because Ponyville Day Spa prides itself on clothes. What? Basically, losing steam makes you use more towels. That means you do more laundry, which uses up the hot water you need to make more steam, so the problem just keeps getting worse. Oh, uh, he's like, uh. I had no idea. Wow, that was weird. She lost her voice there for a second. Idea! Significantly less than an hour of relaxation. Rudy, are you kidding? I can't just leave things like this. I'm gonna need my tools. Ugh. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us. Someone needs to do fan art of a Applejack, Rosie the Riveter, we can do it poster. I, I mean. Be the new title of feminism! Actually, it was never supposed to be feministic. It was just supposed to sell more war bonds. Hmm. Now that that leak's fixed, ponies won't get so cold they use up all those towels. And without all that laundry, there'll be plenty of hot water for all the steam any pony could want. Rarity. And I only have to be doing wash once a day! <laughs> Wow, Applejack, have you ever considered a career in the spa industry? I'm sure I can find something for you. Repair, p <laughs> Mayor. Repair, <laughs> Pony. I'm just relieved I can finally relax in the steam. What do you say, Rarity? It sounds lovely, Applejack, but unfortunately, we spend so much time fixing the steam room, we don't have any time left to use it. Honestly, how an equestrian did it never occur to you to check for leaks? There's just so many other things to worry about. I suppose we get used to the way things are, and we don't realize there was a problem. You obviously need an outside eye to evaluate the situation. It's lucky for you, Applejack is too stubborn to relax. Uh, I'm sorry, Rarity. We'll just have to do this another day. Twilight and Spike should be done feeding the pigs by now. Oh yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm sure that per went incredibly well. <laughs> but she isn't a farmer. I've been doing farm work my whole life, and I'm not sure it's something you can just figure out. Of course. Ooh, why don't we pop back so you can explain to Twilight what to do next, and then we'll come back here and pick up where we left off? Well, I suppose I could try. Just do it, Applejack. You aren't going to settle this situation until you do. Honestly. Honestly. I'm sure this is going really well. Told you, Spike. We're following Applejack's list to the letter, and Applejack doesn't fly. Oh wow! Did you really have to go Mission Impossible style? I'm sorry, Rarity, but I think I'm gonna have to finish these chores myself. <laughs> 
Interesting. How in the world did you end up there? Spike and I were just trying to follow Applejack's list as closely as possible. Hmm, maybe not the best plan. I'm sorry, Applejack, but we never even got started feeding the pigs. That's all right, Twilight. I know you did your best. I guess a list can't really capture all the ways I have of doing things. At least you two got to spend some time at the spa together. No, yeah, they didn't. Well, if watching Applejack fix plumbing counts as relaxing, then yes. What about your hour of spa perfection? As it turns out, the Ponyville Day Spa had a few problems with their steam room, and some pony refused to relax until she had fixed them. I'm sorry, but I just couldn't let those spa ponies go another minute putting up with problems they didn't even know they had. Somehow they just got used to a huge bottleneck of ponies standing around waiting. But I took one good look at that spa jam, and I knew I had to do something. Uh oh. The simplest things can just derail a whole operation. <laughs> Whether it's a leaky pipe or doing too much laundry, you can't just stick to the same old way of doing things and expect. Um, okay, I'm confused now. I mean, thinking you can is just plumbing. What the hell is going on? <laughs> it's funny when you realize the extra work they were doing was actually making things worse. Um, hypocritical. I mean, I guess it's possible to get stuck in a routine where you're doing all this extra stuff and not realize it, but I can't for the life of me think I have. Why are you uh, all staring at me like that? Because you're doing it right now? Um, are you certain everything you just did is entirely necessary to feed the pigs? What? Of course. Why would I be doing it if it weren't? See, that huh. gate here used to squeak so loud the pigs would run to the other side of the pen okay. and come out. Okay, just checking so for time. I open and close it to let them know it's safe. But it doesn't squeak anymore. Of course not. I fixed that ages ago. Then, I realized putting a little fright into them got them all hustling out of the pen. They don't look scared of me. Well, no, they got used to it. Which is why I started doing the chicken dance. To show them that if they didn't get to eat their food, chicken would. Of course, being a chicken, I couldn't very well open the gate. Getting the food bucket to spill into the trough was just a happy accident, because one time I left it there by mistake. Uh, Applejack, it seems like everything you're doing is to fix things that aren't really problems anymore. Yeah, uh, you know, exactly like the spa ponies. To get stuck doing extra work after all. Huh. I wonder if I've been doing that around here with anything else. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yes, yeah, so let's go and fix this hole. Okay, you see, this is the kind of show that I like, where I don't understand something, and then by the end it all makes sense. And they don't leave questions unanswered. I was like, what's going on? Yeah, that's going to take forever. I guess the episode is getting into a certain routine. so used to doing everything a certain way I didn't realize there were any problems having a friend look at what you're doing with an outside eye can really help mm -hmm. and I suppose if it weren't for our unsuccessful time at the spa none of us would have realized it 
Well, now that your chores are streamlined, what are you gonna do with all the extra time? I think I have a few ideas. <sighs> ideas. Sorry, I just see it as ideas. Ideas. No, I see it as ideas. I could plan a week's worth of treatments. <laughs> well, let's just start with the rest of the day for now. After all the work we just did on the farm, I am ready for some serious relaxation. <sighs> Thanks for letting me know there was an opening. I don't know if I could make it without my pampered muscle massage. Don't worry about it. Shall I put <laughs> another back tomorrow? Oh, absolutely. Sometimes a girl just has to pamper herself. Am I right? You certainly are. Oh! oh! Okay, there is something wrong with their voice. <laughs> like, it doesn't sound right. Rainbow Dash. We were just heading in for some pampering ourselves. You could always join us. That is, if you don't mind suffering through one or two fruit fruit treatments. Uh, I suppose I could take it. You know, for you ponies. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Okay. Ugh. My so what did I think about this episode? To be quite honest, it was okay. It doesn't really recover from the last two episodes that I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh the Rainbow Dash part was funny, but it always felt like there was something wrong with her voice. Like I don't know what it was, but it just felt off to me and that's I don't know that's just how I feel but as of the rest I was confused a bit by this episode from time to time but I think it all um, added up in the end to make perfect sense to me so I, I'm not leaving this episode completely confused and so that's uh, my main reason for this so, um, as of streams on, like, my PS4 have been going, copyright after copyright after copyright, um, I had to remove pretty much all the songs from my first MLB 15 The Show thing, and then I did a, like, Test of the Hobbit, and, of course, the da da na na and it got copyrighted. So, I don't know exactly how that's going to work. And the one st it blocks it in one state, and that's only the U.S., which pisses me off. So, um, yeah, I may have to end up removing some songs now and again. Because they use songs from the movie, and those are copyrighted. But, uh, little off topic here, so thank you all for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Brony Time for more content, and I will see you guys next Sunday.